the newly inducted Hall of Famer, the one and the only Cedric Claus. <laughs> Who hails from none other than the south side of the South Pole. South Central South Pole. Oh, you moved. Just moved the South Central South Pole. Unbelievable. Are there better accommodations down there? Bigger land. Bigger land. Bigger, bigger, bigger factory. Bigger factory and all that stuff so I can cater to all the ghetto chillins. The ghetto chillins the out ghetto there. Chillins, yes. The ghetto chillins, yes. The ghetto chillins out there. Now, unbelievable. Hall of Famer, well overdue right there. You've been on the program now for well over seven years. Every Christmas, even the shows we don't have and the Christmas parties and whatnot, you come down spreading mirth and joy to all of our fans worldwide. And it's an unbelievable honor to have you in our Hall of Fame, Cedric. Thank you very much. And I appreciate that you recognize me, that your whole production recognized me because, you know, I deserve this. I. This year been, it's been a long time since I. It's been a long time. And Johnny Fabo, money bags. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Good to see you. As I was saying, I deserve this. It's about time I got recognized. And to that jolly fat man up north in the North Pole, I got mine, sucker. Where's yours? <laughs> Screw him. Forget about him. He's a ham and egg. He never brought me that thing in 1982 anyway, so I'm still pissed off at him. But you brought it. You better, you better believe I brought Unbelievable. it. Unbelievable. Now, Cedric, uh, we haven't seen you since the last year's uh, uh, Cedric party. And uh, what have you been up to? Just been chilling down at the South Pole. Chilling like a villain. Really? Chilling like a villain, yes. Now, we want to get people's perspective here. The big eat off is coming up. Uh, who do you think is going to win? The Big Nez or Colonel Bull Montana? Well, let me tell you, Big Nez. Brother lost some weight. Yeah. Brother lost like a lot of person. He's been he's been he's been training. Yes. Meanwhile, Bull Man Tartan gained the person that Big Nez lost. So I would I would say smart money is on Big Nez. Really? No, 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 no. Smart money's on Bull Montana. What about dumb money? Dumb money's on Bull Montana. <laughs> okay, well, no pun intended. Right? <laughs> what do you think about Sabrina Champagne Cane and a lovely referee outfit down there? The best that money can buy. Get a shot of the referee outfit over there. Sabrina Champagne King looks good in any outfit. And along with this trophy, I would appreciate it if I have the new 2013 calendar featuring Sabrina Champagne King. Can you hook me up with that before I get out of here? I, 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 this is news to me. There's going to be a 2013 calendar, Sabrina? Well, is everyone naughty or nice? Ask Cedric. Well, hopefully it's naughty because we want people to buy it. <laughs> well, we'll see. The cat's we'll out see. of the bag, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 2013 is, not, is going to be a very lucky year. There you go. Unbelievable. Johnny Fabulous down there. What is your take on Cedric Claus? I know you've been friends with him for a long, long time. They don't come any better or any finer than Cedric Claus. The man that takes care of the chillings in the hood, takes, brings him all the presents, make him smile. I bought him that brand new sleigh, got him a whole bunch of reindeer because he calls me money bags. He knows. I got the dough and he knows where it goes. Right there to Cedric Claus, one of the finest in the business. And the man up north can't hold a candle to you, said. And he messes with those hoes, too. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. That's what he says. Oh, really? That's yes. what he says. What yes. do you call yours? I don't have hoes. Yeah, well, I, I didn't say you did, but what? I don't. I have ladies. Oh, you have the ladies up there. I have ladies, ladies of the south. The ladies of the south. Unbelievable. We're not talking about those rednecks down in like. Oh Georgia no, rednecks. ain't no rednecks at the south, <laughs> south central South Pole. No. Rednecks not allowed. But you know, rednecks are people too. And I do go into the redneck trailer parks to hook them up with some gifts. Like I what? Do what, that. what do you give to people in trailer parks, Cedric? That's I've always wanted to know that. Other than toilet paper, what do you give them? Well, I don't give them toothpaste because you gotta have teeth for yeah, that. That's right. They, so I don't give well, them. it actually works for them. It is toothpaste. No, so yeah, toothpaste. They don't have teeth paste. I try to give them running water. Oh, that's what yeah, that, that, that is true water. down there. They're little, uh, little outhouses yeah. down there, huh? Little extra gifts. The fat man don't go in those neighborhoods. No, he don't. No, 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 I, I, no, no he doesn't at no, all. No, no. Now, uh, what do you think about the barbecue spread we had down here today? I think that barbecue spread was almost perfect. Almost perfect. What, what would have made it perfect, Cedric? Chitlins! There was no chitlins! What about ham hock pizza? Chitlins! There was no chitlins! There was no, did, now, I, I don't know what a chitlin is. Can you, can you uh, smarten a, the people out there what a, a chitlin, chitlin is? A chitlin is a pig intestine. It's a delicacy in the African-American community. I see folks are laughing out there. Google it. Chitlins. 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 You think maybe on the next show, maybe for, at the, on the Christmas show, you come out here and actually cook some chitlins for us? Oh, I don't cook the chitlins. I just eat them. Okay, can you get, hook us up with a chitlin provider? 
I'll look into that. You look into I'll that. I'll look into that. You must know a lot of Chitlin peoples out there. I know three. You know three? I know three. Because my mama always told me, you do not eat anybody else's chitlins unless mine, my two sisters, or her mama. And her mama passed some time ago. So do you get to have her portion of the chitlins? I'd rather have her instead, but you know the show's turning a different way. It's a little when, morbid here, but it's so it's chitlins. I mean, come on. Chitlins, not morbid. It's tasty. It's oh, it's delic- tasty. It's tasty. It's a delicacy. You asked the question, TJ. I know you're a world traveler. Look at the sub- uh, face on Sabrina right now talking about chitlins. Over. Look at the camera. I mean, I love myself some escargot, which is kind of weird, but chitlins? Have you ever had it? No. Well, don't be mean mugging. I you know. might like it. Escargot. Is that, what is that? Snails. All right, you're talking, you're talking about pig intestines, and you're now eating snails. Johnny Fabulous, what's your exotic dish? Uh, look, I've had chitlins. I, they're not like a good bowl of chitlins if they're cooked right. They are a delicacy. Do they have them out in Beverly Hills? Th- we have them in Beverly Hills. I got them on my private yacht, and as far as those creepy little crawlers that, that Sabrina eats, I mean, you know, sometimes you pull those suckers out of the shells with that garlic butter and stuff, mm. they're still alive. It ain't good. Like Myself, I like a bowl of tripe. It looks like something that the colonel would sneeze into. Well, the colonel would just go, <laughs> shells and all, it'd be a goner, it'd be over. That I'm telling you, I, I'm looking forward to this eat-off because I don't know what Cedric feels or how he feels, but, you know, Fabo's got the dough and we're on the go. So my money right now, after seeing that training film, gotta be on the big man, Bull Mantana. Really? I think Bull's going to pull this one off. Well, he had, he had some advice from Sergeant Slaughter. What better advice could he get than from the Sarge? Are you ready? And he's ready. I've never, and i got to go along with you, GC, I have never seen Bull Montana run so fast. He worked up a sweat after a piece of pizza. Well, usually he works up a sweat, sweat breathing, but that's well, a different story for a different time. <laughs> Unbelievable. My money's still on the Bull Man, and you got the best unbiased, even though she likes snails, referee right here. Unbelievable. The referee outfit. Look, look at the pythons oh. there. Look at that right there. What Close you going to do when the 24-inch pythons get around you? Look at that yeah. right there. Cedric, yeah. any final words out there for your Hall of Fame viewing audience? Starting tomorrow, July 22nd, opening up Cedric Claus Swap Meet off of East Wyoming. And Rufus, Cedric's favorite helper, if you're out there and you can hear me, Rufus, I got a job for you. Less than minimum wage. But I got a job for you, Rufus. Unbelievable. You heard it right from the lips of the Hall of Famer, Cedric Claus, ladies and gentlemen.